Puerto Rico speaks English. Your name is? Marisa Lavares. And what is your job? I'm a certificate secretary in America. Uh-huh. And uh, what would uh, you like to do? I understand that you hope to be married. Is that oh, right? yes, sir. How old do you think you should be to be married? I don't know. I just waited for it. I'm a, I don't think that when luck comes, that will be perfect. No special age at all. And you think it can happen any time? Yes, sir. You just go right out there to meet the man near that lamp out there someplace. There you go. Now, Miss Lebanon here is Georgina Risk. She's a model in Beirut. Yes. And you enjoy your job as a model? Yes, very much. I was modeling since uh, four years. I began at uh, 14 years and a half. Mm -hmm. And, of course, smiling is an important part of being a model. Yes. You had to smile so much this week, Georgina. What's your secret? How do you smile and keep smiling and keep smiling? Oh, because I'm happy, you know, so I'm smiling all the time. And it's no problem for you. Oh, yes. But you should be very happy now among our 12 step on finalists. Thank you, Miss Lebanon. Miss Australia is Carrie Wells. She's from Perth. She's 20 years old. And what sort of questions, uh, Carrie, have you been asked uh, here about Australia? Mostly about the climate, Bob. But one question I found was really strange. Some of the girls actually asked me if I spoke English. Listen, I'm reaching that stage myself. <laughs> I'll tell you. You are a weather bird, you said in your questionnaire. I assume that has to do with weather forecasting on television? Yes, I was given a synopsis. I didn't actually forecast the weather. And then I had to put it in my own words to tell the people at home what they could expect to wear tomorrow. And I'll bet there are more men in Perth who know the weather every day than any place else in the world with a weather bird like you. Thank you, Miss Australia. You. Miss Philippines does know English, and uh, your name is? Margarita Moran. And what would you like to do, Margarita? Theater? Yes, as a job. Uh, I'd like to be a banker. A banker? Why a banker? Well, uh, first, I'd like to follow my father's footsteps because he's a banker. And uh, besides that, I'm taking up a course in business administration, which is courses in uh, banking and finance. And I like counting money. You like counting money? What would you do with the $10,000 if you went in the Miss Universe page? Uh, I'd invest it. Um, probably I'd build up a hotel. A hotel? Yes, and I'll run a business and my sister will manage it because she's taking up business of, uh, hotel management in school. You know, I think I've made a discovery. This girl could be the Onassis of the Philippines before she's through. <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. Miss Spain is Amparo Munoz Quesada. She's an interior designer for offices and hotels. Did you speak English? No. None? No, poquito, poquito. Poquito. No, nada, no. Su padre es un boxeador? Sí, exactamente. Her father is a, a fighter, a boxer, and I think that's very interesting, and I'm going to try to get her to... <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I think it's something you boys should find out about this one, if her father's a boxer. But what weight? Que... Peso, mm. uh, su, su padre. No, era peso ligero. Es peso ligero. ligero. Sí. He's a lightweight. Light, lightweight. In, um, uh, ¿Le gusta a usted boxeadores? Oh, me encanta, me gusta muchísimo. She's charmed by prize fighters, yes. Uh, <laughs> sus pero no, para, pero no para, para practicarlo, por supuesto, sino para ver. Sure, I'm, I know, whatever you said is just exactly... <laughs> if I have to speak English slowly, you speak Spanish slowly too, okay? <laughs> just nod your head. Uh, yes, that's right. <laughs> Sus uh, favoritos en boxeadores. Bueno, es que en realidad solamente conozco a los españoles, que es Legrat, José Carrasco, que lo conozco personalmente, entonces me gustan muchos que son españoles. She forgot again, didn't she? Thank you, Miss Spain. You're very charming. Would you step right out here to me, please? She is Anne Potomo. She's from Helsinki. She's 19 years old, she's a model, and she speaks English, don't you? Yes, I do. And it must be exciting to be here, one of the semi-finalists in the Miss Universe pageant in El Salvador. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very exciting. And far different from Finland, isn't it? How do, you, how do the two uh, differ? Tell me about it. Well, um, I think there are more lakes in Finland, but and uh, the climate is colder, of course. <laughs> yes. And this is your first visit here? Yes, yes. What are your plans for the future? Um, 
after I, I will crown my after crowning my um, the next Miss Finland, I'd like to start studying in a business school in, and get a boutique of my own. I'd like to design clothes and sell them and I'm so on. I'm sure you'll do well. One last question. Now, you were the group that went to the baseball game in New York City. That must have been very exciting, was it? Oh, yes. <laughs> it was. Uh, Although I, I didn't understand very much of the game, our, our baseball is different in Finland. We have different rules. And so I ate hot dogs and watched the airplanes taking off from the nearby. She did enjoy the baseball game, you see. Uh, Thank you, Miss Finland. Thank you. Miss Finland. Trinidad Tobago. Would you come over here to me? This is Janelle Comisong, and she's from Diego Martin. She's 24, and you are a fashion buyer, and you speak perfect English. Yes, I do. Where have you lived beside Trinidad Tobago? I lived in New York for 10 years. They speak English in New York. That's right. Kind of. <laughs> How long have you lived in Trinidad Tobago? Um, totally 14 years. How long have you lived there this time? I mean, one year. Just one year. Yes. You just got back and time to be in Trinidad Tobago. Yes. Well, now, you have been here for more than a week, and you've met some nice people, and you've seen some beautiful sights. How, what are your impressions of the Dominican Republic? Oh, well, people are very warm. Food has been quite good. And the island is very beautiful. The way you talk, you might be back as Miss Dominican Republic next year, huh? I might. All right. Thank you, Miss Trinidad. I want to talk with Miss South Africa. Would you come down here to me, please? This is Margaret Gardner. She lives in Cape Town. She's 18 years old. She's a model, and you've also done some writing, haven't you? That's true. I've written some poems which have been published. Uh, what uh, the poetry you have written That's have right. been published? That's right. Have you written any stories or, or uh, articles I, that have been published? I've written one short story, which I hope to have published when I get back to Cape Town. Have you thought about doing a story of the pageant? I definitely have. I've been keeping a diary. Oh, you have? I have. And you're going to write one? I will. I hope it will be successful. Well, I hope it will, but please Remember, it's Bob, B-O-B, Barker, B-A-R-K-E-R. -E I've already written it down in my diary. Have you? I have. With a description. Young. Not naturally. No, dashing. Dashing and poems. Modest. Yes. Uh, have you had fun here in Acapulco? I have. I'm in parachuting, and I rode one of these little motorbikes on the sea. I kept falling off, which was unfortunate. So I've had a lovely time. It's a pleasure to have had the opportunity to talk with you, and good luck. Thank you very much. South Africa. We'll know the composite score for her. Ladies and next, the Miss Venezuela speaks some English, but she'd like to have an interpreter standing by. May we have the interpreter up here, please? Oh, here he is. She, he's just going to stand by and help if we need it. Maritza Sajalero, 18, from Caracas, a university student. What are you studying? I am a stone architect. That uh, is a very fine field, but how did you choose? Why did you choose to be an architect? Porque usted escogió estudiar arquitectura. Porque es una carrera que realmente es muy pequeña a mí y porque tengo mucho sentido de creación y soy muy futurista. She feels that she likes to create and she feels that uh, the world is going to be the future and she would like to construct for the future. Very nice. Uh, here she is. She is uh, one of our semi-finalists. Have you ever watched the pageant on television? Como no, desde muy pequeña, realmente es que tengo uso de razón todas las noches, vi el concurso en los universos. Me parece que es el concurso más maravilloso del mundo y estoy muy contenta de yo poder participar en él. Zora says that she's always watching uh, telecast and she's always enjoying watching the program. She's been seeing it year after year since she was a little girl. Since you were a little girl, do I look any older? Te seres un poquito mayor de que antes. ¿Yo? No, él. No, igualito. No. Ah, that's 
because she became a semi-finalist. Very bright. Thank you. USA come out here to me. John Weatherly, age 20, Central South Carolina. Third year at Clemson University. And Sean, what have you been up to since you won the crown in Biloxi, Mississippi in May? Up to lots of fun. I went to Mexico for a week. Um, and I spent my time there with Maurice in the present Miss Universe. We had a fantastic time. And then I went to Roanoke, Virginia, where the people are a lot like people in South Carolina, very friendly and warm-hearted. And then I went to Richmond, Virginia. And uh, I've had a lovely time so far. I wonder when I'm going to come off the plane. <laughs> what do you want to do as uh, a career? Well, um, I guess my ambition is to be a sports commentator. I was asking Jane a little while ago how she got into it. I know she has a beautiful face, but we have to have something inside. And talking to her, I found that she did. You have a boyfriend at the pageant in Biloxi who is a player for the San Francisco 49ers. You were doing research. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you still dating him, or do you have a yes, baseball? Yes, he's out there with my father. Oh, he's here. Yeah. He let's, has handcuffs on him, so what? he keep his hands off those USA contestants over there. Are you for them? Yeah. <laughs> a happier football player there is not. I Thank like you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. You'll see her score. And then you'll meet Miss Venezuela. Venezuela is going to have an interpreter. She is Irene Saez. She's 19. She lives in Caracas. Right over here, would you please, sir? And uh, she is a university student. Ask her what she's studying, will you please? ¿Qué clase de estudios hace usted? Estoy estudiando ingeniería civil en la Universidad Metropolitana de Caracas. I'm studying civil engineering at the University Metropolitan University of Caracas. How did she become interested in becoming an engineer? ¿Cómo que se interesó usted en la ingeniería civil? Pienso que mi personalidad va de acuerdo a esta, a esta carrera y siempre me ha gustado ver crecer los edificios como crecen los niños. Because I think my personality lends itself to this career and I like to see buildings grow like children. I think her personality would lend itself to any career. <laughs> in her bio she said that she participates in sports. What does she do? Dice que usted participa en los deportes. ¿Qué clase de deporte hace usted? Me gusta jugar tenis y jugar kicking ball. Kicking ball? Kicking ball. Kicking ball. Soccer? Kicking football? Football y béisbol. Uh, football and baseball. Does she follow American sports? ¿Y sigue usted los deportes norteamericanos? Sí, como no. Yes. Admiro muchísimo a los Rojos de Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yes. Red, Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati Reds? Yes. And <laughs> what other team? ¿Qué, ¿Qué otro equipo? Los Dolphins de Miami. The Miami Dolphins? Ask her if she's ever... Ask her... Ask her if she's ever heard of George Steinbrenner. ¿Usted conoce el nombre de George Steinbrenner? El pitcher de... El pitcher? <laughs> well, he sells beer on television. He does beer commercials, doesn't he? Thank you very much. President of the... For her. I would like to talk with Miss Canada. She is Karen Baldwin, lives in London, Ontario. She is 18 years old. She's just finished high school, and what are your plans for the future? Well, I'd like to attend university. I'd like to go to the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. And I'd like to study marketing, finance, and economics in relation to fashion with a concentration in design. I think that sounds as if it should be a fine career. Now, you are the first girl I've chatted with, and I know a lot of people at home are wondering what you do when you represent one of these countries. What have you been doing as Miss Canada? Well, I've, uh, I've had a wonderful year so far. I've done an extensive amount of traveling. I've been to Germany and Israel and Cyprus and to the North Pole. And what I've been doing in those countries is I've been visiting the Canadian Armed Forces camps with the performing tour and participating in the perfor performing tour. Did you watch the Miss Universe pageant last year? Of course I did. <laughs> I think Miss Canada was among the 12 semifinalists. Yes, she was first runner-up. What did I talk with her about last year? Uh, <laughs> how much she loved watching The Price is Right. <laughs> is that what she said? Yes, she did. The Price is Right is my show back in the United States, so obviously last year's Miss Canada was a brilliant young lady, right? Obviously. Thank you, Miss Canada. Thank you. And we will talk to you, Miss New Zealand. Would you step right over here to me, please? She is Lorraine Downs. She's 19. She lives
lives in Auckland. She's a model. And Miss New Zealand, many Americans are curious about your country. Why don't you just tell us about New Zealand? Well, New Zealand is a beautiful country. It's a very natural green country. And if you like the easy outdoor life, then you like New Zealand. And at home there in New Zealand, have you watched the Miss Universe pageant on CBS? Well, I've been watching the Miss Universe pageant since I was about eight years old, and I can't believe that I'm here now in it. <laughs> well, you are indeed. Now, you're 19. So she was three years old when I started doing the pageant. <laughs> of course, I was only 20 years old when I... This fellow over here says, higher, higher. Miss New Zealand, have you enjoyed your visit to St. Louis? Oh, it's been wonderful. It's one that I'm never going to forget. And the best thing of my visit has been the people of St. Louis. They have been so friendly and made everyone feel welcome. Thank you. Nicely put. Thank you.